Okay, so Brett, you are installing the wood on the, the wall here. And tell me what kind of glue you're using on that? It's just P PL1000 caulking. Cool. It's like liquid nails. So you've, you put it in, you've spread it out a little bit. You're going to nail some flat pieces up against it to hold it against the wall till it cures, dries. Yes. And then we're going to pull those flat pieces of wood off. Yeah. They're going to have one one or two nails shot in just to give it. Yeah, you won't it up see against. all you'll see is a nail uh, finish nail holes. Yeah. You just put putty in those. Yep. And it's just a paint. <clears throat> okay, just so yes. today that's what he's doing. He's going to put the two pieces in. Here's the other guy, and he's going to put our top shelf in. Looks like I'm going to be three tubes. And then he's going to finish our drawers. He's going to put our drawers in. He matched the Formica. I oh, can't this will tell look the much difference. Less silly. Oh, so now you're admitting silly. that our boat looks silly. Silly. <laughs> now that he's gotten our money, okay. he's insulting us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's. Now nah, it it we were all, we were in agreement pretty well on. Uh, the fit and finish colors and how silly it did look. It, this stark white wasn't wasn't gonna cut it. We had some house carpentry going on here and stuff like this piece of molding is from the Home Depot and it's made for a door jam really. Yeah, door jam sailboat. So we're gonna cover some of that stuff up. Yeah, but it does work. Okay, so Brett is putting the box for the shelves in. He's got the fascia that he's putting in. He's uh, using this as glue and he's also going to put some screws in it. Fascia for this side is over here. That cutout's going to be a, an access door so I can get to the compressor wiring and all if I need to. Ultimately, the box, the shelf box, will be screwed in. We're not going to glue it in. So in case I do need to get down here and have extra room, I can loosen the screws, slide it out, and do all the work I need. He's glued this guy down. Um, he's going to put some molding around here, and that will be completely done. Be nice when this gets closed in. I guess he said within a couple hours, even before I leave, if I want to, we could just pop these these um, pieces of wood off. Uh, it should have cured by then. We'll probably just leave it up for now. Progress. Yeah, that's going to look so much better getting all that boxed in. Hi, right, YouTube buddies. So let me show you what uh, Brett has come up with on our drawers because they are so deep. They go really far back. These guys are going to be mounted on the back of the drawer so that the wheel runs along the shelf right on top and gives the rear strength, more strength to the rear so that it doesn't pivot upwards with the weights that's at the front when we slide it out. Theoretically. Theoretically, <laughs> so we'll uh, we get another shot of this when he puts it in and check the action. All right, all right, folks. This is the the Brit Gorky wheel is what he's calling this, which that is fine. The caster. That's what we've got now. If we do need more lateral strength on it, we could put one on each side. But right now, this looks like it's going to do. We're going to give it a try. We're going to pack stuff into it and. Uh, Probably next weekend and give it a try, but yeah, it's between the uh, the slides and that wheel. I think we got a winner. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll figure that out as we go. Yeah. <laughs> this is custom cabinet work, dude. <laughs> All right. Okay, folks, the semi finished product. The uh, 
drawer box has been put in. It's been installed. Of course, this fascia. There's some trim that will need to be added and a fiddle up here. Um, this is going to have a door with trim around it. The door's already been cut. Um, these are the drawer fascias. Uh, we're going to do a little sanding and there are going to be handles here. Teak handles, which we've already picked out. Let's see if I've got one over here. Yeah, these guys. These guys, nice little teak grab handle. And that'll allow us to scoot the drawers up and out. Um, okay, so, yeah, we've got our drawers. We uh, went ahead and stained and varnished the insides while they were out. So we've got our drawers installed and in place. <clears throat> they lock into place. But yeah, these guys are that much more storage. Very cool. And of course, as you saw earlier, these guys, which roll out nicely, have the roller in the back for steadying. So these guys are working really well now. Uh, he installed this shelf. We have to, he has to trim it out and he's going to put a piece in the back so that whatever we put up here doesn't slide off in the back. But that's just one more area. Of course we have this area down here for storage. And this which gets us underneath here which we cleaned and painted uh, last weekend. So this entire area here is just one huge storage area. Goes all the way back from not quite amidships. So it goes back about four and a half feet down here and about three and about four feet up here. Maybe maybe closer to five feet down here and about uh, three and a half to four feet up here. So we got that. Of course this is our sail locker. Uh, we've got storage underneath. I don't know if you can see that. It's not real light in here. Storage uh, area underneath and this is where our sails and life preservers and various other things. We'll probably quarantine a little section of this off. Maybe put some shelves in here uh, depending upon how much room our sails take up. So that these doors are going to get some trim added around and a proper latch on them. So all this stuff that you see up in the V-berth up here now is going to be, we're going to be able to start packing that away um, into the storage areas we've got here. So the new counter, the build out down here, the drawer box, the pantry, uh, and of course all these wood blocks that are holding this trim piece up against. Uh, he reinforced the inside down here, which you can see back behind with a three quarter and another bulkhead, three quarter plywood. And then the outside is of course trim. And we're going to have teak trim that goes up and down the wall here. And then this will be stained properly to, um, to a teak color and then we'll varnish oh, excuse me, varnish all of that. So, what we've got besides trimming it out that uh, that's very cool. Uh, 